My people, hello, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to my review of the Lone Star Discs Curl. This is an 11-speed distance driver, and it is a really solid flyer that was easily one of the best discs we tested last year. Uh, you're going to see all three of us out there at Blue Lake last year in the summer testing this thing, and we had a great time throwing it, and you'll see that we were all able to get some really nice flights out of it, even with very little experience with the disc, so... We have three different ones to show off in this particular video. This one is a Glow, which is a little bit more gummy, or considerably more gummy. Not quite as nice of a grip, maybe. It's a little bit more, a little more slidey under the hand. It doesn't have quite as much of a, of a tacky grip to it, but with the extra gumminess and flexibility, still no issue whatsoever. You can get a nice grab on this thing. I did dye it. That's not the actual colors, uh, of the of the glow material from from Lone Star looks a little bit closer to that kind of off-white color there 173 on the glow curl but yeah you can dye this plastic I took this yellow pretty nice and it's a good looking disc for sure the glow one is flatter on top overall as well and probably a hair more stable than the other two then we also have their kind of more standard plastics this is the Bravo right here and this one Oh, these are both Bravos. Okay. Yeah, so these are both Bravos. So the Bravo has a little bit more give to it than the Alpha, but very similar in terms of look and feel. These are just a little bit more flexible, and I love it. I really like the Bravo plastic. Probably my favorite plastic from Lone Star that we've tested so far. Big shout out to Lone Star for sending me these to test and review and to show off on the channel. They've sent me a bunch of stuff last year as well. Hoping to uh, continue to connect with them in the future, but I'm not exactly sure how that'll go. But yeah, we'll see. I have the Walker and the Harpoon both in my respective Overstable Midrange and Overstable Approach Disc collections. So those will be represented more on the channel. And these, you can see, have a quite a pronounced dome on them. Yeah, there you go. See a good look at the shape and the design of that. You can see how, even with the way the outer rim curls over, you can still see that portion kind of protruding out. And that's pretty noticeable. When you look at this thing, there's that ridge there, kind of sweeping into the inside rim there. Both 175, 173 for these two Bravos. Beautiful, swirly looking plastic. This one has my ink on the bottom, but you can see the nice swirly colors to this one. And once again, has a nice pop top on it. Let's put that one aside for just a moment as well. Definitely has some heartbeat, and we noticed that during testing. These really hung up in the air and floated for a long time once you get them on a nice line. 11, 5, negative 1, and 2 are the flight numbers on the Lone Star Discs Curl. Give you one more look at it by itself, and then we're going to start comparing it to some other discs. There it is. Okay, first and foremost, the most obvious one is the Innova Wraith. And this is a Pro Wraith that I just added to my own bag collection recently as a test. And a really nice flyer as well. I really like this Pro Wraith, actually. Beautiful, basic, very simple stamp. 11, 5, negative 1, 3. So the Wraith has a bit more fade according to flight numbers but we didn't really see that borne out in the testing they're, they're they're basically very very similar and of course the issue with the wraith is what wraith are we talking about pro wraith champion wraith halo wraith star wraith pre-flight number wraiths dx wraiths you know it, it just goes on and on and on you can find some wraiths that i've tested over the years like a uh it was a fly die champion like pretty flat top that my buddy had in his bag for years it was a complete meat hook. It was overstable like a like a Max or something like that. It was just ridiculous. So the rates are going to fluctuate a lot. One of the most popular discs of all time. So bear that in mind when we're when we're talking about the way it compares to a disc like the Wraith. I mean, <laughs> there's a million options out there. And it's hard to really know without specifics and comparing disc to disc. But you can see it definitely has a, a noticeably different design. Again, with that, with that ridge there on the Lone Star Disc Curl, but yeah, Wraith is a great disc as well. Next, we have the Latitude 64 Royal Grace, and this one is 11, 6, negative 1, 2, so same flight numbers as the Curl, except it has a little bit more glide based on the flight numbers. The Royal Plastic is easily the nicest out of any of the ones that we showed in this video, but I think I like the flight of the Curl a bit better than the Grace, but here we're going to put it up next to it. Tested these on the same day, in fact, um, out there on the course. It seemed like the curl was getting a little bit more carry from us, so could easily have a six for glide, but I think that could be partly due to the fact that this is a pretty flat top grace, and I think the very 
prominent dome on this particular curl and the other Bravo that we had was what was accounting for that extra push and carry down the fairway. Then also we have this gorgeous swirly Chandler Fry Surge. The Discraft Surge came out around the same time as the Wraith, identical flight numbers 11, 5, negative 1, 3. We tested quite a few of them. Me and Chandler came out and helped me test uh, some of the ones he had, and I had two for myself, and they all fluctuated in stability quite a bit. This one was actually quite flippy for, for Chandler out there in the field. I'll, I'll throw in some, some footage of him throwing some kind of a surge real quick just so you can see. Um, but yeah, there it is compared to that. So once again, doesn't look quite as wide and has a little bit more of a squared front edge where the curl has a kind of a rounded point on the edge there. So yeah, pop top dome, nice feeling disc in the hand and the, uh, the dome definitely seemed to contribute to the flight of this disc. And let's get out there and take a look at the rest of the flight footage. So one thing to uh, consider when we're taking a look at the flights here is that out there in the field that day at Blue Lake, it was windy and the wind was kind of swinging hyzers anything on a lot of hyzer or had height was getting swung out way to the left and anything that was kind of low turned over was getting slammed down to the ground so bear that in mind when you're seeing the footage here but that's just you know there's not much to really do about that but even with that you will see that me andy and james were all able to have really really strong throws with these with these discs and again not much experience with them beyond that day out there testing. I have carried them a little bit since then, but not really a long-term test. After the filming of this video, this pink one is gonna go in my bag for my next round, and I'm gonna start continuing to test it. Either the pink or the blue Bravo probably stick around in my collection. Um, and it's something that I will continue to test as the years go on because it is a really strong flyer that has potential for really great flights with a lot of distance as well. And we've talked about this in other videos, but. 11 speeds are a really workable distance driver speed for a lot of different players. They will go farther than you probably expect if you haven't really messed around with them very much. They are capable of flying every bit as far as a 12, 13 speed disc under the right circumstances, but they are a little bit more friendly. Usually they're a little bit more consistent than a high speed disc. A lot of high speed discs can fade out on you or flip too much depending on, on the release angles and stuff like that. These are going to be a little bit more consistent than that, and they also don't need quite as much speed to get up to speed and allow them to kind of take on their full flight path out there on the on the disc golf course so 11 speed discs are a really great distance driver to check out and the lone star discs curl stands up next to all the other ones the the top ones on the market like the wraith the surge and the grace that we showed you in this video the the curl is every bit as good as those if not better in some respects and i'm not going to do a ranking per se maybe sometime in the future we'll do another video testing five you know the top five 11 speed distance drivers out there and get out there and do some testing with some of these but i'm not going to make any kind of verdict in terms of which one i like the best but we'll definitely say that the lone star discs curl was absolutely one of the top discs we tested last year it would have been a shoe in for my top discs of, of the year for 2022 uh, video that I posted last month if it was one that we got the, the review done during that calendar year But probably will be one of the top discs of this year um, that I reviewed so that is the Lone Star Discs curl Thank you once again to Lone Star Discs for sending me these to test and review Thank you to all of you for your continued support shout out to my main sponsors NSH custom discs as well as Upper Park Disc Golf You can find the links and all the codes to uh, support me and all that stuff in the description as well as of course all the information about Lone Star Discs, where to order these, where to follow them on social media, etc. Thank you all very much for watching and I will talk to you all very soon. Cheers!